morning children in my last video i taught you how to do the divisibility test of 2 3 and 4 and using those divisibility test in a minute you can find out whether a given number is divisible by 2 3 or 4 divisibility test of 2 was so easy you just have to look at the units place digit if the units place digit is an even digit that is 2 4 6 8 or 0 then the given number is a multiple of 2 in the divisibility test of 3 you had to add the sum of all the digits of the given number if the sum is a multiple of 3 then the given number is also a multiple of 3 and in the divisibility test of 4 you had to see the number formed by the ones and tens place digit if that number is a multiple of 4 then given number is also a multiple of 4 so children now in this video we are going to learn the divisibility test of 5 6 8 9 and 10 let's go to our powerpoint presentation and do that divisibility test of 5 children this test is so easy that you will be able to guess it when you look at the multiples of 5 let's see whether you can do it or not multiples of 5 are 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 100 200 200 300 300 400 400 500 500 600 600 700 700 800 800 900 900 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000
and if on the ones place digit either there is 5 or there is 0 the number is divisible by 5 okay let's see the divisibility test of 6 come let us see the multiples of 6 multiples of 6 are 6 One's a six, so twelve. Six three's a eighteen. Six four's a twenty-four. Six five's a thirty. Six six's a thirty-six. Six seven's a forty-two. Six eight's a forty-eight. Six nine's a fifty-four. Six ten's a sixty, and six eleven's a sixty-six, and so on. Now, children, a number is divisible by six if it is a multiple of both. Two and three, or we can say that if it comes in the table of both two and three. Okay, let us see. Now, first multiple of six is six. Okay, now two threes are six, three twos are six, so six comes in both the tables, two and three. Okay, next is twelve. Two six are twelve. And three fours are twelve, so twelve also comes in both the table of two as well as three. Eighteen, two nines are eighteen, and three six are eighteen. So children, eighteen also comes in the table of two as well as three. Twenty-four, two twelves are twenty-four, and three eights are. Twenty-four, so twenty-four also comes in the table of two as well as three. Now thirty, two fifteens are thirty, three tens are thirty, so thirty comes in the table of both two and three. So children, you have seen that all the multiples of six are also. the multiples of both 2 and 3 so find the if the following numbers are divisible by 6 or not to find this we have to do the test of 2 as well as the test of 3 i hope children you remember what is the test of 2 and what is the test of 3 the test of 2 is on the ones place we should either have 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 0 so at ones place we should have an even digit and the test of 3 is that we have to add all the digits and after adding all the digits the sum which we are going to get if that sum is a multiple of 3 Then the given number is also a multiple of three. Okay, let us see this. Thirty-six thousand nine hundred and twelve. In ones place we have two, so this number is a multiple of two. Okay, let us add the digits. Two plus one three, nine and three twelve. Twelve plus six eighteen. Eighteen plus three twenty-one. Twenty-one is a multiple of three, so both the numbers. Have thirty-six thousand nine hundred and twelve as as their multiple. So this number is divisible by six. See this number. This yes or no means whether this number is divisible by six or not. Here multiple of three yes, multiple of two yes. So multiple of six also it is yes. Okay, twenty-four thousand two hundred eighty-six. since it is an even number at ones place there is 6 so this number is a multiple of 2 for the multiple of 3 let us add the numbers add the digits 8 plus 6 is 14 14 plus 2 is 16 16 plus 4 is 20 and 20 plus 2 is 22 since 22 is not a multiple of 3 so this number is not a multiple of 3 so multiple of 3 no multiple of 2 yes but multiple of 6 is no because we want two yes here then only yes can come here okay, next number is 
15,369. Now children, this digit 9, which is on 1's place, this digit is an odd digit. So this number is not a multiple of, of 2. Now even if it is a multiple of 3, it will not be a multiple of 6. You know why? Because it has to be a multiple of 2 as well as 3. See, for multiple of 3, it is yes. For multiple of 2, it is no. So for multiple of 6, it is no. Okay. 30 lakh 60,216. So one's place. Digit is 6, which is an even digit. So this number 30,60,216 is a multiple of 2. Okay, since it is a multiple of 2, let us check whether it is a multiple of 3 or not. Now 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 3 is 18, 18 is a multiple of 3. So this number is also a multiple of 6. Why it is a multiple of 6? Because this number is a multiple of 3 as well as a multiple of 2. Okay, last one. 36,901. Now children, units place, it is 1. So 1 is an odd digit. So this number is not a multiple of 2. So even if it is a multiple of 3, it will not be a multiple of 6. So children, actually it is not even a multiple of 3. So not a multiple of 3, not a multiple of 2, so not a multiple of 6. Okay children, now we are not going to do the divisibility test of 7. You know why? Because it is so cumbersome that it is better that we check the divisibility of 7 by actually dividing the number by 7. So we are not going to do divisibility test of 7. We will straight away do the divisibility test of 8. Okay. Divisibility test of 8. Multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. 72, 80, 88 and so on. So children, a number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by its 1s, 10s and 100s place is a multiple of 8. Okay. Now children, what you have to do, you have to look at the number formed by the last three digits. Like 808, 286, 369, 816, 901. You have to look at the number formed by the last three digits. If that number is a multiple of 8, then the given number will also be a multiple of 8. So children, I am going to do this mentally. Please get ready to do it mentally with me. 800 divided by 8. Now 8 ones are 8. 8 minus 8 0. Copy 0 doesn't go. You put a 0 in the quotient. 8 ones are 8. So the quotient is 101 and the remainder is 0. So this number is Divisible by 8. Okay. 24,286. Now we will divide 286 by 8. 8 to the 16, 8 threes are 24. So 8 threes are 24. 28 minus 4, 24 is 4, 46. So 8 fives are 40. 46 minus 40 is 6. So 6 is the remainder. So 286 is not a multiple of 8. 
So this number is also not a multiple of A. 15,369. We have to check 369. Okay. 8 to the 16, 8 to the 24, 8 to the 32. 8 fours are 32, so 36 minus 32, so it will give us 4, copy 9, 49, 8 six are 48, 49 minus 48 is 1, remainder is 1, so 369 also is not a multiple of 8, so this number is also not a multiple of 8, okay, now, 30,60,816. Now children, we have to check 816. Okay, 8, 1's are 8. 8 minus 8, 0. Copy 1. It does not come in the table of 8. So, 0 in the quotient. Copy 6. 1 and 6 is 16. 8, 2's are 16. 16 minus 16 is 0. So, 816 is a multiple of 8. So the given number is also a multiple of 8. Okay. 36,901. We have to check 901. Now 8 ones are 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. Copy 0. 10. 8 ones are 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Copy 1. 21. 8 to the 16, 8 3 the 24. 21 minus 16 gives us 5. So the remainder is 5. So 901 is not a multiple of 8. So 36,901 is also not a multiple of 8. Okay children, at this point of time, I want to tell you something which is very important. You have seen that the divisibility test of 8 and 4 are similar. In 4, we have to see whether the number formed by the last two digits is a multiple of 4. And in the divisibility test of 8, we have to see that the number formed by the last three digit, digits is divisible by 8 or not. Here, there is one more condition. The numbers which have zeros at ones and tens place, all those numbers are a multiple of 4. Because 4 25s are is 100. So all those numbers which have zeros at ones and tens place, all of them are multiples of 4. And all the numbers which have zeros at ones, tens and hundreds place, all of them are a multiple of 8. So children, this is very, very important. Please remember this. This is also a divisibility test. Okay, now let us go to the divisibility test of 9. Divisibility test of 9 is very very identical with the divisibility test of 3. Here also you have to add all the digits of the given number. If the sum of the digits is a multiple of 9, then the given number is also a multiple of 9. Come we let us see here. Multiples of 9 are 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18, 9 three are 27, 9 four are 36, 9 five are 45, 9 six are 54, 9 sevens are 63, 9 eights are 72, 9 nines are 81, 9 tens are 90, and 9 elevens are 99, and so on. See children, so in 18, 8 plus 1 is 9, in 27, 2 plus 7 is 9, in 36, 3 plus 6 is 9, in 45, 4 plus 5, 5 is 9, and so on. So a number is divisible by 9, if the sum of all the digits of the number is a multiple of 9. So let us find out if the following numbers are divisible by 9 or not. Okay. 
So this number 36,912, 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 is 21. 21 does not come in the table of 9. So this number is not a multiple of 9. 24,286. 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus 6 is equal to 22. Even 22 does not come in the table of 9. So this number is also not a multiple of 9. 15,369. 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 is equal to 24. Even 24 does not give, come in the table of 9. So this number is not a multiple of 9. 30,60,216. Now, 3 plus 0 plus 6 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 is 18. And 18 comes in the table of 9. So, 30,60,216 is a multiple of 9. Okay, let us look at this. 36,909. 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 0 plus 9 is equal to 27. Also 27 comes in the table of 9. So 36,909 is a multiple of 9. Divisibility test of 10. Children, this is the easiest divisibility test. Why? I'll just tell you. Multiples of 10 are... 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and so on. Look at the ones place digit. Come on. See, here also it is a 0. Here also 0, 0, 0, 0 and so on. So a number is divisible by 10 if at its ones place there is 0. So easy. So find if the following numbers are divisible by 10 or not. So, we have to just look at the ones place digit. 13,575. Ones place digit is 5. So, not divisible. 2,46,813. Ones place digit is 3. So, not divisible. 44,887. Ones place digit is 7. So, not divisible. 33,570. Once place digit is 0. So, it is divisible by 10 or it is a multiple of 10. 10,029. Once place digit is 9. So, not divisible. 5,75,715. Once place digit is 5, so this is also not a multiple of 10. 5,10,390. Once place digit is 0, so 5,10,390 is a multiple of 10. So children, the, in this video we have learned the divisibility tests of 5, 6, 8, 9 and 10. I sincerely hope you will practice and become perfect. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.